MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, that's what we do, dog. We work on ourselves every single day. So I had dropped a video earlier talking about, you know, what to expect or what you might experience when you first are, uh, if you want to practice semen retention, like if you don't know nothing about it and it's just like, okay, what the fuck is going to happen? Um, I explained in that video, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, and I, and I emphasized the random energy burst that you get because, you know, like I said, the more, the more you actually store up your own life force energy, the more you become a con, uh, you become conscious within your body, within yourself, within your seven planes of existences, when it comes to your seven, um, different forms of bodies that do all tie down into your physical body. And, um, as far as like your aura, it's like your aura starts to expand in a sense, you feel me? But this is like new energy. So that's why it may seem like it's a random, like it just comes out of nowhere. But the whole time, whether you know it or not, especially if you are retaining your energy after like 30 days, um, 30 to 60 days type shit, you'll start to, you'll start to feel these effects of, you know, being on semen retention. Now, somebody have made, made um, they posted in the comment section saying like, I think they're on like day 36, correct me if I'm wrong. And they said that um, day 36, I've been on this shit. I've been on this journey and I don't feel nothing. I still feel the same. Like, am I doing something wrong? Now, I get that question a lot. You feel me? A lot of people say like, man, I'm 60 days in and I don't feel shit, man. This shit is some bullshit. Like, y'all niggas just blowing dust up my ass. You feel me? Well, here's the thing. I always say everyone's different, but what are you doing on your quote unquote spare time or the time that you have? while you are retaining your energy because if you are if you're just like me, like you can meditate and do everything that you need to do that's cool but it actually in order to see the actual effects or the quote-unquote benefits or whatever you have to go out into the matrix and become active you feel me and that's what a lot of people tend to forget to do and when you are out in the matrix you will literally see the difference between how you feel and how and how like others are looking at you and how they perceive you and how you actually perceive others as well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I have to keep yeah, I have to keep that in mind, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you about my journey. The first 30 days, um, I felt I felt great, you know. Um, and honestly, I kind of even remember because <laughs> all this shit, all like since I've been retaining this shit, like it um my again my longest streak was 129 days right so i know within the first 30 days of that streak like i felt amazing but i always felt like i had like just extra energy especially like around the nighttime especially you feel me because usually that's when niggas relapse and that's when most of like our fo our focus goes into like okay Usually we laid up with a bitch and usually we, you know, we go out and drink, we smoke, we do what we do. Now we're not doing this. And this is, that's part of the reason why like you will have random energy bursts. You feel me? And, um, as far as like our mind and our brain being stimulated, that's another thing too. We have to take into consideration that the smallest things that we do and, and mind you, y'all have, if we, if you're going to do semen retention or be on SR or whatever, you have to make some type of sacrifice um as well you feel me because you to to somebody that's that's new to sr you know not busting a nut is basically like a sacrifice to them you feel me like when you think about busting a nut that shit feels amazing you feel me but what you have to what what, what we have to realize when we are on this journey type shit is that we are breaking free from the things that we used to do and it's more like a if, whether it's a break, a fast, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, we're not doing what we used to do. We, we we used to put a lot of energy into, you know, lower vibrational things that we did. You feel me? Living in our lower three chakras. Now, when we get out of our lower three chakras and start to live through our heart chakra, um, uh, crown chakra, our third eye, um, throat chakra, when we start to uh, live and and kind of put our energy more so up in our in our in the higher realms, we see that whether you know it or not, we see that like spiritually we become more um what's the word? We we become more not only vibrant, but 
in the spiritual realm, other entities and other beings, they actually see you as becoming conscious and becoming awake. So a lot of the urges that we had before, those urges aren't really urges no more. They turn into random bursts of energy where you have to be able to cultivate. You feel me? We have to be able to cultivate, become active. And people will be like, what do you mean? What's cultivated energy? Oh, don't worry. I'm about to get a hoodie that says cultivated en energy MGT. This shit about to be lit. Now, if somebody wants to take my idea, I don't give a fuck. You can do that shit. But it ain't going to hit like how my shit going to hit. You feel me? Because I actually have cultivated energy. Now, with the cultivated energy, the energy that we have, like I said, the bullshit that we was like putting our putting our energy into or even just chilling at the crib and watching TV and eating. And I'm about to get into the food part of this video and eating and things of that nature. Once you realize like, OK, I'm a supernatural being, well, which, which really you are natural, but we're going to call it supernatural. But I'm a supernatural being and I know that the powers that be. They want us to vibrate at a certain vibrational rate. They want us to, they don't want us to rise in consciousness. So when you see that you become like you, you you're not of this world, this shit going to get crazy because not a lot of people are like at the, at, at the type of frequency that you're at, excuse me. So we have to take into consideration that like, okay, what can we create? You know what I'm saying? Whether you know it or not, bro, you you supposed to be either inventing some shit, writing some shit, building some shit, um, learning some shit. You supposed to be doing that shit almost on a daily basis outside of the mundane, going to work, eating, sleeping, shitting and fucking with your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, you know, our true existence is to create, you know what I'm saying, is to evolve. You know what I'm saying? So that could be anything, bro. Now, if you're in any type of profession, it doesn't matter. Like, even if you work a, a regular job, just know that there's low-key a higher calling for all of us, whether we know it or not. And that's that's where the cultivated energy comes in. That's that's where you start to take your own, your own the same energy that you would put in some bullshit. Or, you know, because like I said, when you are holding on to your seed, yeah, that's that's one thing. You just it's like I always use this, this example. You can have you can stack up all the money, you feel me? Not it, let's just say it's not even in the bank account. Like you got, let's say you got forty thousand dollars that you put in your closet. When you put forty thousand dollars in in the closet, what 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 is the benefit for the forty k in your closet if it's just sitting there day after day? Now, if you could just keep adding, okay, 40,000 turns into 60,000, 60,000 turns into 800,000, 800 turns into um, a milli. Okay, you got a million dollars, but the shit is just sitting there. You're hoarding your energy. We can't just hoard our energy, bro. You get what I'm saying? We're supposed to take that same energy and transmute it into something that that's physical, a new idea, a new concept, a new way that can like help society or humanity or our fellow brothers kind of elevate themselves because we complain every fucking day niggas be having problems all, all the time niggas be talking bro all these people that be in the comment section be saying all kind of shit oh i'm going through this i'm going through that i'm you know what i'm saying and that's part of life in order to get through those rough times in life this is we have to have some kind of not only the mo because you can just call that motiv uh motivation you can just call that motivation you know what i'm saying the energy of motivation, um, willpower, all that is considered quote unquote cultivated energy. And you can get through a lot in life. You feel me? So we can't just sit around and just not, and just not do shit. So as far as like us on this journey, especially going back to, you know, like I said, just 30 days to 60 days, the main thing that you're going to notice is that you're going to have a lot more time to yourself. And also you'll be able to kind of slow down the process of aging, okay? I made a video about how when you are practicing seed retention, you actually look a little bit younger, nigga. You can actually slow down the process of aging because now you can you can actually control the speed that you're vibrating at. Now, like when you're doing certain shit, you could be doing so much shit in a little bit of time and you'd be like, damn, it's already fucking nine o'clock at night or, or 1030 in the morning. You'd be surprised, like, what the fuck? Time is going by so fast, but yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck is this happening? We want to live our life. It's cool to, like, live with a sense of urgency, but we don't want to be governed by the matrix, bro. We, if shit, to be totally honest, nigga, 
you like time is an illusion you feel me but time literally just measures you know one like basically energy going from one point to the next point that's all it's just a measurement and once you understand that like you you internalize your energy you cultivate it and you're doing things before you know it dog like bro you you will accomplish so much in a in a little bit of time and you're gonna be like well damn well damn you know what i'm saying what the fuck like i like i just did this shit like it was nothing <laughs> you get what i'm saying i just did that i just worked 10 hours like it was nothing i just i just did three hours in the gym like it was nothing or i just did some workouts within 30 minutes and i feel great like i don't have to be in the gym for 30 minutes you get what i'm saying so that that's that like we have to really understand like the power that we have within ourselves it's a lot of shit out here that's an illusion and when and when we can control the speed of how we vibrate shit if you only like you can control like the your skin, the the way how your skin looks and feels and shit. You feel me? Because like I said, we're not just doing this shit just for the females. Unless, like, you know what I'm saying? Unless you got an agenda, that's cool. But like I said, 30 to 60 days, if you're just getting started, that's that, those are that's like the area you at least you want to get to before you actually start really, 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 really seeing some shit and feeling a difference within yourself. Now, As far as the food is concerned, and actually I'm going to save this for the next video. So I'm going to actually see you guys in the next video. Peace.